was interviewing a guy one time and he started talking about the black Israelites. I know you're from somewhere, right? You know, a news, uh, yeah, yeah, he's ready to the news. What is it? You know about us. We're the real Jews. And okay, where the descendants of Jacob? <laughs> okay. Jacob was a black man. Abraham was black, all right? Isaac, his son, was black. Right. It was like, you know... So if you're an Edomite, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can... You can go to slavery. That's the only thing you can do. That's only right, man. We, was, we were enslaved under you. And it wasn't on camera, but I was like, I don't... That was so, it was so far out to me that I... We didn't have a choice. Well, provided that you're an Edomite. If you're an Edomite, then you're going into slavery. I was like, we'll never kind of understand uh, common terms on that. <clears throat> I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Yahweh Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, the only God's God. His name, he remains, he exists, and Yahweh Shai's name is the only begotten Son, who the only God Jesus Christ. And his name, he remains, he is delivered. Baha Shem is in the name of Yahweh Shai, the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone of the world. Peace and blessings unto the shock that's pushed forth in the truth. At the four corners of the earth, I want to say shalom to your brothers and keep pushing. And a double shalom unto the Israelites that's looking like the other nations that show up with you. I want to say shalom to your brothers and sisters as well. My name is DeWild from James Lyons, St. Louis Camp. And I'll come back at another video. And, and this is going to be a response to a uh, video that the elder got on his page, the elder apostle to her. GMS declaring the end, in which that video that he uh, shared from GMS get this work. <clears throat> so I'm about to pull some precepts and let's be edifying. So, uh, so yeah, Taco Carson is Edomite. Okay, and according to the Bible, you know, all Edomites are going into slavery. Okay, the same way how Israelites went into slavery. The same way how Edomites are going into slavery. Because the blessing was given to you from Isaac. And if you can receive it, Isaac is Yahweh Shai in another life. It's the same spirit. Same spirit that was in Adam. Same spirit that was in Solomon. Same spirit that's in Isaac. Same spirit that's in our Lord. Yahweh Shai. Okay. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and pull some precepts. Let's be edified. Just give like a little history lesson of what's going on in the scriptures. For anybody that's new that's tuning into the channel now. You know, because believe it or not, you know, you have new people coming in. Still. Okay. Because you can have new people coming in until the missiles drop. Until we in the kingdom. Okay. So this is the book of Genesis chapter 25 and verse 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. All right. And the Lord sent unto her, two nations are in thy womb. And two manner of people shall be separated from their bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other, and the elder shall serve the younger. Right? So yeah, so two nations. So you got uh Jacob and Esau. You know, Jacob is the father of the Israelites, so called black Spanish Native Americans. Esau is the father of the Edomites, you so called white people. Okay, so starting off with Amalek, okay, which is the small hat people. <clears throat> and when her days to be delivered were fulfilled behold there were twins in her womb and the first came out red all over like a hairy garment and he called his name Esau right which uh, Esau means uh, Ishashua it means wasted away and the reason why they called his name Ishashua is because he had no pigmentation you know he came over like a he uh, came out a red baby you know when white people come out they come out red Okay, 
Let's get a depiction. What's they got? What's this is wrong right here? They got. Like, no. I'm gonna type that in Hebrew. They don't even got the. Well, they got this picture, which is a part of the sign. You know? So, twin sons of. Isaac and Rebecca. Okay. So Esau. Jacob. <clears throat> and after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, and his name is called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she birthed him, right? So yeah, so when it says they were struggling, that means what they that you know they were fighting, you know, because uh, struggle, like we wrestle, it really means to struggle, you know, battle, okay? Because our people, like the Israelites and the Edomites, we are completely total opposites, you know, we are born enemies. And that's how you how much Shemiyasha made it, okay? And his name was called uh, Jacob, you know, Jacob, y Yaquot, which means supplanter. You know, so somebody that, you know, that's slick, that try to get over on you, like supplant you. Okay, that's the spirit of a Jake, you know. And the heel, you know, that was symbolic. Okay, Esau, Esau's heel, Jacob took hold of Esau's heel. Okay. So this is second address six and nine. It reads for Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob, matter of fact, I started seven. Then answered I and said, What shall be the part and the sunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he sent it to me from Abraham unto Isaac when Jacob and Esau were born of him. Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, right? <laughs> the hand of man is betwixt the heel and the hand. Other question, Etrus asked not, right? But yeah, it's going into something else. So, kind of, so that was symbolic, you know, because Esau's r rulership is right now, and Jacob is on his heel. You know, we on his ass, you know, because he's not going to be able to shake us. And that's the reason why... I, um, why well, we got that proper side now? Cause you know we on his heel now, okay? Cause right now he's you know he's ruling and he done convinced the world that God is white, his son is white, the angels are white. You know we the bad guys in the story, but now nah, he the bad guy. He's the total opposite of everything that's righteous, okay? And you got a lot of people that's offended at that, and especially our people. Hey, but that's just how the Lord made them. You know, this is the Lord's story, you know. So who are you to reply against uh, the Most High? All right. So this is, let's go to Malachi. Malachi 1 and 1. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, said the Lord, yet you say wherein has I loved us. Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said the Lord, yet I love Jacob. And I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Right? And this is the Lord talking. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the distant places. Thus say the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord have in the nation forever. Right? So the Lord hates you damn devils forever. Okay, there's nothing that you've done that's been productive on the earth since you've been in power. Everything that, that, that you pushed, even though it has a benefit, it has um, an adverse effect to it as well. Okay, like cars cause pollution. 
But all these different chemicals that's in cars, that's in antifreeze and uh, oil and you know, like the combustion chamber, like with a car, okay? Like all that's, all that's bad for the environment. <laughs> like you, you can get fined for, you know, for dumping used oil somewhere, okay? <laughs> That's very toxic, which we know that, that Jake created everything. But hey, Esau, Esau eat him. You know, like since you're so smart, like how about you create something that uh, like a car can run off water? Actually, you know, how about you create something like that? You know, you ain't gonna do it because you get money. You know, because he created this cycle of what you see today. You know, getting up, going to work. Okay. It's crazy, okay? Because, you know, you ain't supposed to be working like that, which that's a part of the curses, okay? And getting up and going to work. Because the scriptures talk about in the sweat of our brow that, um, that we'll, you know, that we'll bring forth bread. Matter of fact, let me get that real fast. Let's go to Genesis chapter 3 and 17. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake, and sorrow shall thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Right? In sorrow. Right? Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth. To thee, and now I shall eat the herb of the field. Right? You mean you you you're gonna get sick? Okay. And in the sweat of thy face, thou shalt eat bread, till thou return unto the ground, for out of it was thou taken, for dust thou art, and for dust thou shalt return. Right. So yeah, the sweat of thy face, you know, a hard day's work. You know, coming home from a hard day's work, you know, all sweaty and shit. Okay, that goes into uh, Esau, Edom, and who, Eve. Okay, which that's a different topic for another time. But that's the reason why we got to work now. It's, it's, it's because of that. Because, you know, Esau, Edom, he, he basically made the whole world slaves. Okay. Because the world was a paradise at one point in time before you Edomites had to put your hand in everything. Okay. You know, you had a dew to come out of the ground to water the earth. Now that don't that don't happen no more. So Hebrews twelve and sixteen, at least there be any fornicator or profane person is Esau, who for one morsel of me sold his birthright. Alright, so yeah, fornicator, which just means a wicked person, profane, that's outside of the temple fornication. Spiritual adultery, okay, which is not believing in the Heavenly Father, okay. It says, For ye know how that afterward, when he had inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For ye found no place of repentance, though he started carefully with uh, tears, right? So ye found no place of repentance, okay. As soon as he sold that birthright, because scripture says, Well, he despised his birthright. So there was literally nothing that he can do afterwards. Okay, because, you know, from the beginning, it was already written that that was going to happen. Because, uh, you know, Re 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 Rebecca, our foremother, uh, she was told by the Lord that so she did according to what the Spirit told her to do. Okay. So let us read this. Let's go from the top. 
We're going to skip down a little bit. So Genesis 27 and 1. And it came to pass that when Isaac was old and his eyes were dim so that he could not see, he called Esau his eldest son and said unto him, My son. And he said unto him, Behold, here I am. And he said, Behold, now I am old. I know not the day of my death. Now therefore take, I pray thee, thy weapons, thy quiver, and thy bow, and go out to the field and take me some venison, and make me savory meat such as I love, and bring it to me, that I may eat, that my soul may bless thee before I die. And Rebekah heard when Isaac spake to Esau his son, and Esau went to the field to hunt for venison and to bring it. And Rebekah spake unto Jacob her son, saying, Behold, I heard thy father speak unto Esau thy brother, saying, Bring me venison, and make me savory meat that I may eat, and bless thee before the Lord before my death. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice according to that which I command thee. Go now to the flock and, and fetch me from thence two good kids of the goats, and I will make them savory meat for thy father, such as he loveth. And thou shalt bring it to thy father that he may eat, and that he may bless thee before his death. And Jacob said to Rebekah his son, Behold, Esau my brother is a hairy man, and I am a smooth man. My father free of will fill me, and I shall seem to him as a deceiver, and I shall bring a curse upon me and not a blessing. And his mother said unto him, Upon me be thy curse, my son. Only obey my voice and go fetch me them. And he went and fetched and brought them to his mother, and his mother made savory meat such as his father loveth. And Rebekah took goodly raiment of her eldest son Esau, which were in her house, and put them upon Jacob, her younger son. And she put the skins of the kids of the goats upon his hand and upon the smooth of his neck. And she gave the savory meat and bread, which she had prepared into the hand of her son Jacob. And he came unto his father and said, my, my father, and he said, Here, here I am. Who art thou, my, my son? And Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau, their firstborn. I have done according as thou badest me. Arise, I pray thee, sit and eat of my venison, that they so may bless me. And Isaac said unto his son, How is it that thou hast found it so quickly, my son? And he said, Because the Lord thy God brought it to me. <laughs> you know, me and the Jake, you know, he's smooth, right? And Isaac said unto Jacob, Come near, I pray thee, that I may fill thee, my son, whether thou be my very son Esau or not. And Jacob went near unto Isaac his father, and he felt him, and said, The voice is Jacob's son. Jacob, the voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the son, hands of Esau. And he discerned him not, because his hands were hairy, as his brother Esau's hands, so he blessed him. And he said, are thou my very son Esau? And he said, I am. And he said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son's venison, that my soul may bless thee. And he brought it near to him, and he did eat, and he brought him wine, and he drank. And his father Isaac said unto him, Come near now, and kiss me, my son. And he came near and kissed him, and he smelled the smell of raiment, and blessed him, and said, See, the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which the Lord hath blessed. Therefore, Yahweh give thee the dew of heaven, and the fatness of the earth, and plenty corn and wine. Let the people serve thee, and they shall bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren, and let thy mother's son bow down to thee. Cursed be every one that cursed thee, and blessed be he that blessed thee. And it came to pass that Isaac had made an end of blessing Jacob. Jacob was yet scarce going out of the presence of Isaac his father that Esau, his brother, came in from his hunting, right? So, yeah, so he said he was scarce, you know, so he shook. You know, he got up out of there. You know, that's what Jake do when he do something sneaky. You know, he, he got to he gotta evacuate, leave, leave the premises. <laughs> and Isaac, his father, said unto him, Who art thou? He said, I am thy first, I am thy son, thy firstborn Esau. And Isaac trembled very exceedingly and said, Who? Where is he that had taken venison and brought it? And brought it me. And I have eaten of all before thou camest and blessed him. Yea, and he shall be blessed. And when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great, exceedingly bitter cry, and said unto his father, Bless me, even me also, O my father. 
And he said, thy brother came with subtility and have taken away thy blessing. And he said, is he not rightfully named Jacob? You know, it's a supplanter. But he have supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, and behold, now he take away my blessing. And he said, thou hast not reserved a blessing for me, right? Which, he, you know, Jacob didn't take away shit. You know, Esau sold his birthright, okay? And that's just what Esau is. He's a sore loser. I mean, these are, these are the words that he said out of his own mouth. Okay, let's get that real fast. Genesis 26 and 7. Yeah, and 29, and Jacob saw potash, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said unto Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. All right, red. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die, and what profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day, and he swore unto him. And he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob, and, then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he did eat and drink and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright, right? So yeah, so that was a business transaction, you know? So yeah, he despised his birthright, okay? It says, And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy lord, and all his brothers have I given to him for servants, and with corn and wine have I sustained him. And what shall I do now unto thee, my son? Right? So I done gave him everything. You know, I, I done made him the top, the top of the top. Right? And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O oh, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Okay. And which I know they I know they heard that. <laughs> You know how Jake be listening to stuff and sniggling and giggling, you know. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the feathers of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. <laughs> and by thy sword thou shalt live and shalt serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. All right? So yeah, by the sword. You know, in which it's basically this, it's it's basically like a like a bootleg artificial version of what the Lord gave uh, Esau. Okay, well, it's like what the Lord gave Jacob. You know, Esau's blessing is an artificial version of what the Lord gave uh, Jacob. You know, we got the real blessing. Esau got the artificial shit. You know, the red forty. High fructose corn syrup, artificial flavor, grape drink. Shit, we got that, that fine wine. <laughs> All right. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I stay my brother Jacob. And these words of Esau, her elder son, were told to Rebekah. And she sent and called Jacob, her younger son, and said to him, Behold, thy father... Thy brother Esau is touching thee, discomfort himself, purposing to kill thee. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice and arise. Flee thou to Laban, my brother, to Haran. All right? So, Khan. And, um, yeah, so, yeah, so he did that. Okay? And... <laughs> And so we had that blessing to this day, man. And you Edomites, you hated us ever since uh, that day. You know, which you always hated us. You hated us from the beginning in the book of Genesis, you know. Um, the uh, first world before it was destroyed with water. to talk about through the envy of the devil all right
This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2 and verse 23. For God created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world. And they that do hold of his side do find it, right? So through envy of the devil. So who is the devil according to the Bible? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Okay. So Ezekiel 35, 1, and it reads, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it. All right, so yeah, Mount Seir represents who? Esau, Edom. Okay. And say unto it, Thus said the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. Right, that's what the Lord is doing now. He's making you desolate, okay? Because we're at the the end of your kingdom right now. The very last what, at most, <laughs> at most three years, at most three years, only probably about three years left here, most likely. Okay. Are they talking about twenty thirty that this place is going? Um. You know, they're they making plans for t for 2030, but it's not going to last that damn long, man. Because what? We're measuring the times. And I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel, by the force of the sword in the time of the calamity, and the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord God, I will prepare unto thee blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it him that passes out, and him that returneth. Right? And I will fill his mountains with his slain men, and thy hills, and thy valleys, and in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. Right? So, kind, that's what the Lord said he's going to do to you, man. All right, the Lord ain't playing with you damn Edomites because you didn't had uh, ample time to do the right thing because you had the scriptures, you had everything in your hand and the Lord is just showing you like, hey, you could have did the right thing, but you chose not to because, you know, because Esau, Edom, and that, I'm that top dog spirit, you know, <laughs> and you're not, you're the lowest of the lowest, all right? And the Lord going to put you damn devils right where you belong is on the bottom. Because you a base man. Right? It's the book of Romans. Romans 9. 1. I say the truth in the Mashiach, I like not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were cursed from a Mashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertained the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises. Right? So, kind. So, you got a lot of these Christians, modern day Christians. Wacky tacky Christians that say, oh, salvation is for everybody. You know? Um God said he hated Esau, but that just means he loved he loved them less. Like, no, man. <laughs> the Lord hates Esau, and that's that. Okay. The Lord loves Jacob. That's it. So you got a lot of these weird doctrines out here saying that um the Lord hate Jacob now. And he love Esau. Like, no, man. No. Like, these cats, like, all these false doctrines are being decimated, all right? It says, 
says, Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Hamashiach came? Right? Because that's who the Lord died for. He died for the Israelites. You know, Matthew 1 and 21. Okay? Who is overall Yahweh blessed forever? Amen. Not as though the word of Yahweh have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are, are Israel. Not because they are the seed of Abraham, are they all children? But in Isaac shall their seed be called, right? Because you got a lot of uh, Abrahamic nations. You got Ishmael, you got the uh, Midianites. Okay, you know, Abraham had eight sons. But the blessing went to who? Isaac. Okay. And Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, not Abraham, Isaac, and Esau, no. Well, this is the word of promise. At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. It's like I done, I done skipped. Uh, verse 8, that is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of Yahweh. But the children of the promise are counted for seed. But this is the word of promise at this time will I come and Sarah shall have a son. And not uh, only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of Yahweh according to the election might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. It was said unto her that the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Right? What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid, right? God don't hate, you know. Like we done uh we, we done hurt it all. Okay, we done hurt it all. Um we done hurt many, many, many things. You know, God don't hate. Uh God don't like well, you know, God don't like ugly, yeah. <laughs> and shit, shit for real. Who is ugly? <laughs> a sinner is ugly. You know, the most I don't even want to even look at that. You know, scripture says his eyes can't behold um evil. All right. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I have compassion on whom I have compassion. So then it's not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of Yahweh that showeth mercy. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose, have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore, have he mercy on whom he have mercy, on whom he will, he hardeneth. Right? So, yeah, because Yahweh by Shemion shot hard in Pharaoh's heart. That will say unto me, Why does he yet find fault for whoever resisted his will? Nay, but, O oh man, who art thou that replies against Yahweh? Shall the thing form say to him that form it? Why is that made me thus? Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? What if Yahweh willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to the destruction, that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory? Even us whom he had called, not other Jews only, but also the Gentiles, right? So the Gentiles are who? The Gentiles are the Israelites that scattered amongst the other nations. Okay, that 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 took Roman customs, Greek customs, uh, Egyptian customs. Okay, because you got to go into uh, the history. Because if you don't go into the history, you're not going to understand that. Okay, so come, and that's all I had on that. Man, just one of the you know, just. Um, let's touch on that 
and just give like a little history lesson on that. And I hope this is edifying and I want to say shalom.